Floating down the Red Deer River is a popular activity for locals. However, if you've never done it before, there are some important things you need to know. Watch this video so next time you visit Central Alberta, you also can enjoy rafting down the Red Deer River. <laughs> Look at that! Never a doubt, Coach. <laughs> pounds over weight capacity regardless. <laughs> <laughs> the route we're going to go on the river today is starts at Fort Normando and ends at Bower Ponds. During the summer months you can see a rate of flow for the river posted in front of this building so that you know just how fast the river is flowing and can time your trip accordingly. Make sure you park one of your vehicles at your end destination which for us was Bower Ponds so you have a way to get back to your first vehicle that you left from. The Red Deer River changes speed depending on what time of year you're rafting. We did this at the end of August, so the river was flowing very slowly and it was also very shallow. But if you go earlier on in the season, in the summer season, it's going to be flowing much faster and it's also much deeper. While you're waiting for our vehicle to drop off at our Bower Ponds destination, we saw three different groups enter the Red Deer River. Because of the speed of the river, even though it was flowing slower, we never saw these groups again. And that just shows how equally spaced people remain as long as you don't pull over to the side of the river at any time in your travels. You'll also notice they took three different modes of transportation. So you can choose any of those options but the number one priority is to make sure that everyone has a properly fitted life jacket. The Red Deer River provides beautiful scenic views with no shortage of solitude and fresh air. Oh, look at us move. We got some speed happening here. Toby, smile for the camera. There you go. He's a good, he's a good sport. Near the beginning of our trip, we saw these two horseback riders giving their horses a drink from the river. And it looked like they weren't very deep in the water because they aren't. The water, at some points, the river is really shallow. And here the horses were standing comfortably, drinking water and taking a break from the heat of the day. Where'd the dragonfly go? Before the railway connected Edmonton and Calgary in 1893, the Red Deer River crossing was the gateway between northern and southern Alberta. The native people knew it as the safest river crossing point for a long way upstream and downstream. Along your river float, you will have the opportunity to float underneath what is commonly referred to as Highway 2 or the QE2 Highway. It's a major highway in Alberta that stretches from the Canada-United States border through Calgary and Edmonton to Grand Prairie. It runs primarily north to south for approximately 1,273 kilometers. It's the longest and busiest highway in the province, carrying more than 170,000 vehicles per day. The third bridge you'll see is the train tracks that also cross the Red Deer River at this point. Look at the number of holes in there. Birds, gophers. I would think they're birds. She was taking over. Hey. Okay. It's all right. Too far to the right, so I just have a, a mouse to shower for me to take. Oh no, this is good. That was exciting. It might be the greatest rapids we are going to experience. No glacier river in Montana, but... <laughs> Must be why we're not moving very fast. Yep. Try and touch Toby. Go in. It's, it's warmer now. You can go in now. 
This next bridge is the Riverlands Pedestrian Bridge, which connects Waskasu Park to the Bower Ponds Park. Let's go on this side of it. Um, which side do you want me to be on? I don't know. Doesn't matter. We can. I don't care. I'm just watching the ducks. Ah, ha, ha. Do it. <laughs> Come up. Oh, there's Big Rock right there. Watch out, Big Rock, Dennis. <laughs> I'm trying to take duck pictures. It's pretty nice. Make sure that you have a float plan so that you and everyone else in your group knows the safest place to enter and exit the river. Ensure that you have a paddle to aid with your steering, drinking water to keep you hydrated in the summer heat, sunscreen, as well as a hat and sunglasses, as sunlight can be particularly harsh when reflected off the water surface. In addition, water shoes, a waterproof container for first aid supplies, cell phone, car keys, and anything else that you may need to float the river safely. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment below, and if you really enjoyed it, please share it so it gets more views. For those that have subscribed, I really appreciate it. You guys are the absolute best. And those that haven't subscribed, I'd love it if you did so. Just click that subscribe button and also the little bell so you get notified whenever my new videos come out each week. Thanks and have a great week.